Alright guys, welcome back. I'm Mr. Dr. Aquafresh and this is episode 5 of Nicoparo, uh, Nicoparo Volume 1. It's kind of more like a part, but eh, yo tubs. Anyways, so we got these two cat girls, stuff happened, and they managed to convince me to stay the night. So, I'm just going to go ahead and jump on right in. So for now, I'll let you stay, but only for tonight. Only for tonight. I don't have guest beds or futons, alright? With all that was happening, 11 o'clock became midnight. Even if I took them home, everyone else was sure to be asleep by now, so the one glimmer of hope I had that Shigeru would call me back didn't happen. So I decided that taking them home tomorrow was my first priority. Oh boy. Well, I do have a very comfortable bed. Cleverly. They had even brought pajamas. Just how much planning went into their scheme? Just, just, you know, just, just how much planning went into their schemes, anyways? Well, if you two sleep there, where will I? I guess they would save money. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Uh, huh. Okay, cool. Well, you know, well, that's fine with me if, if I was, if... I'm trying. I'm trying to play this like as the main character and as myself, and it's difficult. Uh, you know what? I guess I wouldn't mind because one, that would keep us warmer, and two, I mean, saves money, right? Do gotta buy a futon or nothing. Now, don't get ahead of yourself, you two. A single bed for three people is too crowded. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, fair enough. Hmm. That's way too pitiful of a sight to be called praiseworthy. Actually, yeah, I do. Ah, they're making me feel guilty, but I can't do nothing about it. That's something only strange people would say. And where did these cat girls get this information from anyways? Well, they've probably read a lot of books and watched TV in Shigeru's room. Chocola isn't good with kanji characters, so she only reads picture books, though. <sighs> you know what? Whatever. You two go. You, you know what? You know what? You two go sleep in my bed. It still gets pretty cold at night in April, after all. I'll probably sleep on the floor. But I'm going to go sleep on the sofa in the living room because that sounds like a lot more comfortable. The sofa can fit one person and there's air conditioning in there if I need it. No. <sighs> well, uh, their kindness is, you know, definitely there. They moved quickly towards me like, like lions catching their prey, you could imagine that. Placed my hands on their heads and spoke in a clear and stern voice. Listen up. I will sleep on the sofa, and you two will sleep in my bed. Those are your master's orders, understood? Uh, 
It all works out. You know, the music on this really fits the situations. If you guys have been paying attention to that or not, I don't know. But I mentioned it. I said it like that deliberately. Two of them looked as if they wanted to say something, but they hesitated. They lowered their heads upon it. See, if I was doing that, I would feel bad. And then I'd try, like, cramming all three of us into one bed, and then it wouldn't work out because somebody would get knocked off the bed in the middle of the night. It's alright. Same goes for you, it's... okay. They mustered out, and it looked like they are on the verge of tears. Yeah, <laughs> there it goes. Their obedience had hit at the exact opposite of the effect I expected. It filled me with guilt, of course. I felt a prickling sensation in my chest. The pain left me as I sighed and rubbed the two of them on the head. Come on, get going. Hi. See, then I Oh. Good night. If anything happens... You call for me right away. I gently rubbed the heads of the two dispirited cat girls once more. See you in the morning. That said, I turned the lights off in the room. Yeah. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Her vanishing voice echoed slightly in the darkened room. The pain in my heart from before became even sharper. I swallowed that pain and replied cheerfully, It's okay if it's just for one night, so don't worry about it. It's alright. Now then. Get some sleep. I really shouldn't act on my emotions. I laid down on the sofa. And I sighed while staring at the ceiling. <sighs> if I gave in to my emotions, the result would just lead to more sadness. If I used kind or hopeful words, they would all end up as lies. It's pretty uncool of me to be so passive like this. See, it's... That's a weird mix between this guy's personality and my personality, in case you guys couldn't notice, because I just respond automatically to it now. Because I'm trying to get the full the full effect out of this thing, and... You know, things, things will eventually, like, sort itself out, but... I'm trying to, like, make this as realistic as, as, as possible here. While I continued to pile on insults and make excuses for my actions. I closed my eyes and waited for sleep to take over. Yay, it's the next morning. Well。Thank you. And that was what she told me when I was finally able to get in touch with her. Without any margin of negotiation space, I was struck down. But Shakur, even if you said that, I don't think Chocola and Vanilla will- <sighs> Don't make it sound like it's a daily ritual or something, please. In any case- Great. Uh, love you too. Talk to you later. Oh, what? Wait, wait, sugar. Mm -hmm. 
Seriously? As the ruthless electronic buzz of the dropped call echoed, I just stared at my cell phone. And here I thought that I could sort all this out if I could just talk to Shigur. Thank you, I'm glad you like it. Of course I make it, and I can cook pretty well. Ah, <laughs> didn't notice that. Okay. Let your imaginations run wild if you're that kind of person. The cat girls in question were happily stuffing themselves with sandwiches. These sandwiches incidentally contained tomato, cheese, and lettuce with an over easy fried egg tucked inside all of that. It was a simple meal. Breakfast was pretty much like this. You two are definitely going home today, okay? <laughs> <sighs> Stop with the deliberately misleading words. I sighed at their happy go lucky mindset. I took the opportunity to fill their empty glasses with milk. The eating habits of cat girls were pretty much the same as those of humans, so that part was pretty straightforward. Of course, what they liked and disliked depended on each individual cat girl herself. Uh, in the end, I wasn't able to get everything put away yesterday. Today, I really do have to start getting ready for the bakery's opening, too. That's why I don't have time to relax and play with you two. So, oh, that's kind of mean. Uh, I'm going to rephrase that. So, you two just be good girls, alright? And when we can, uh, I'll send you home. I said that to them with a sandwich in my hand. <laughs> I can just imagine that. It's pretty funny. She put her sandwich down on her plate. And just like yesterday, she looked at me with upturned eyes. Yeah. <sighs> Man, that's mean. I wouldn't say that. Personally, I wouldn't say that, but yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. Nothing I shouldn't be able to handle, though. I answered her clearly. So it's exactly why I would not have said that. Her shoulders drooped more than before this time. The ears which sat atop her head drooped down heartedly, too. Unable to make fun of anything, Vanilla could only look on with concern. Oh, you idiot. Or am I the idiot? Crap, I don't know. Hey, tell me in the comments! <laughs> Let me know. Let me know what's up in the comments. Uh, what do you think? The pain from last night pricked at my heart again. I tilted the already cooled coffee cup as so my emotions dulled unimpeded by my judgment. Do you know, long before this, I would have already been convinced to let them stay. Usually, always, perky ears were drooping, and Chocola was speaking clearly under her own volition. Vanilla's usually blank expression, of course, did not change. However, she showed me her strong determination. <laughs> I 
I don't remember Chocola or Vanilla ever being this disobedient. The thought stayed at the back of my mind. But if I was going to be swayed by that, then I wouldn't have said this. That. Understood? Hmm? Who could possibly be ringing my doorbell at this time? Ah, uh, well, hey, look, tableware seller. <laughs> Alright, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, since this is, I believe, the fifth part, if not, of course, it'll be corrected in the next episode, but if it is, which, of course, it should be, um, I'm going to go ahead and start posting these. So, uh, that way, any questions that you would have asked or whatnot, uh, if I don't continue this on the same day, probably uh, will most likely be answered in the second, uh, uh, the second, you know, next five. But I got school tomorrow, and with school comes homework and everything else, and the wonderful break that was for Christmas and for New Year's is over now. So, I mean, I got all that going. So. Thank you very much for watching, comment, like, subscribe, do all those wonderful things that you subscribers do, and good luck in all your endeavors. Thank you very much for watching.